Prepare yourself for very offensive language throughout and sexual references. Previously, it all kicked off. Another edition of The Perez Show, featuring Katie Hopkins. You call us the mean girls? Well, you're a scumbag. If he was my child, I'd shut him in his bedroom. If I were your child, I'd kill myself. Nobody really likes you in this house. Well, I'm talking, you can shut your ass up. up. Bitch, shut up. Oh. Tonight, Perez reaches breaking point. I want to quit. Perez, are you sure you want to go? More drama. Oh, he broke the exit and walked. <gasps> He broke the fire access here. I don't know why anybody's surprised. But there's a shocking twist. <laughs> you will become Big Brother's puppet master. The Perez Show is back. And housemate nominate. I think there's still some tension in the house. A little aggravating. Backstabber. She's got control issues. Two-faced and therefore very untrustworthy. She just basically cuts cheese up all day. Whoa. Big Brother wants you to choose one of them to face eviction on Tuesday. Oh, this is so hard. Not. Housemates who receive the most nominations are... <laughs> She's probably pissed. It makes me think, who's she gonna go for next? Bitch, please, I ain't got time for that. It's the Perez and Nadia show. Katie Hopkins can suck my... Dear 19... 9.37 a.m. Morning, how are you? Okay. Wish we didn't have to go to bed every night with so much anxiety. I know. <laughs> As part of yesterday's shopman task, Big Brother played some viewers' tweets to the housemates. Perez Hilton planned massive game plan and reveals he was yes. always going to use Nadia Sawala. I think tweets are quite good because they're quite harsh, aren't they? I swear on my son's life, I never said that. Just calm down, Perez. It's not worth it. Oh, I'm in full-on rage mode. Nadia's still unhappy. What we've all got to ask ourselves, when something said nasty about all the rest of us on Twitter, and we've got, oh, don't believe it, it's just Twitter, we can't then go, oh, but believe it if it's about Perez. I don't. Got to see the insanity of that. No, That's no, the but insanity I think, it I think because That's it all I'm going to say. No, but I think because it said on reality TV, which is a big... Right, so on reality TV is what? It's a... Uh, is what? It's not... It's just a... It's, just it's because a it's a real it's Twitter address doesn't mean they have decent morals and coded oh, behaviour. No, it just means it's like, you know, it's like a Perez Hilton. Not well, a few exactly. Interviews. None of the tweets were nice. Perez is talking to Patsy about wanting to leave the house. I don't need the money. That's the thing. I really don't need it. And actually, I may make more money leaving now and walking off than staying. I make more than this in one week. And they're paying me a lot. Mm. I didn't do it for the money, I did it for the opportunity mm. to let people know who I really am. Yeah. Mm. Because the people who get to see me and see how fucking mm. silly I am and all this stuff, that's why I did it. And, and that's the power I have over them. That mm. they, they can't force me to stay because I don't desperately need the money. Like, was it worth it? If not, I don't know if it's worth it for me. We'll see. Ten thirty one AM Perez has told Big Brother he wants to leave the house. Hello. Perez, could you do Big Brother a favour and just sit up in the chair so that Big Brother can see you properly? No. I'm going home. Not giving you any exit interview. I know exactly what you want. If you want an exit interview, you're gonna give me more money. If you give me more, I'll give you an exit interview. Yeah, okay, Perez. Yeah, man, I'm 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 mentally home. I'm great. Is there any message you have that you want to give to either the viewers or your fellow housemates? Yeah, I look forward to coming back next week to the UK and doing lots of TV, print, radio interviews and speaking the truth about my time in the house. 
Katie, Michelle and Cammy Lee are talking about the explanation Perez gave for the tweet about Nadia. Anyway, it was a tweet, silly ass. Right, but she said they took out, he told her that they took out the part that he, he said he was going to use her for to cooking. teach her how to cook. <laughs> Great. I think he said he could prove it. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit what he could prove? It's out there now. Right. Doesn't matter what ha actually happened. I guess happened. it matters to her. <laughs> and to him. <laughs> it's perception that matters. And on that note, he's royally shafted. But does it really? Does perception really matter? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. No, what actually happened was, I actually said I was going to use Nadia in order to improve my go. leapfrogging. Yeah, that... And what they've cut off is improve my leapfrogging. But if my friend said that and said I could prove it, then I'd be interested in seeing it. <laughs> British public won't give a shit. <laughs> Silly ass. Doesn't know where to put himself this morning. Oh, well, no, he's up in the diary room. Already? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, he's lying prostrate on the floor of the diary room, kicking and screaming. <laughs> Well, I had a tweet about me. He knows his time is coming. Perez, tell Big Brother how you're feeling. You know how I'm feeling. I don't know what you're showing. I just have to assume that everything you showed yesterday is going to make it on TV, all right? It was very telling that when you showed that fucking video yesterday, most of it was Katie Hopkins, but you couldn't find clips of me that were hurtful about other people in this house. Because if I said anything about people in this house, I've said it to their faces. And the only person in this house that has kept me sane and given me the time of day is Nadia. And you tried to fuck that up. You want to know what that real fucking quote was? I told a reporter for The Sun, this was my exact quote. Nadia can clean... Nadia is friendly and she can cook and that'll be very useful for her. For her. I didn't say it was going to be useful for me. It'd be useful for her. I would never say that. I'd never said that. I swore on my son's life. And Nadia believed me. That's great. But the people at home, they may fucking believe that tweet. You don't even care. Fuck you. Eleven forty four AM Katie, Michelle and Nadia are talking about Perez. I don't think he'll walk though, Nadia. Well he's very no, he's very, very serious. I'm sure he's sorted out with him up there now. I mean he's 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 played it hard and fast this game, hasn't he? He's worn oh, but that's out. half that's half of the problem. The thing is he's he... coming here, he's normal one minute. But then, because of his character, Perez, he's so, like, over the top that he's trying to play that as well, which I said to him. He's just he got to be yourself. In and out of Mario just and be Perez. yourself, yeah. Because otherwise... It, it was too much too soon. It's and... like Keith Lemon couldn't come in here and do three, four weeks as Keith Lemon, could he? Perez is still in the diary room talking to Big Brother. How are you feeling now, Perez? Stupid. Why? Because I want to quit. Everything is telling me that I should quit, but then I'm like afraid to quit. I don't fucking know. I feel like I've been... It doesn't matter. Just fucking open the door. To the house. Perez, tell Big Brother what you're thinking. I'm just going to stay. Just open the fucking door. Can we be done with this now? Perez, you are not yet free to return to the house. <sighs> big Brother has big news for you. Perez, Big Brother is now going to set you the ultimate secret mission. You have the next hour in which to return to the house and to convince your fellow housemates that you are walking out of the Big Brother house. You will then go to a secret room where you will observe your housemates every move. You will become Big Brother's puppet master and will wreak havoc upon the house. Is, is this task compulsory? As you know, Perez, all tasks are compulsory in the house. <sighs> Perez, do you consider yourself up to the challenge? I'm still fucking here. 
So guess. I don't have a fucking choice. I am fucking still in the fucking Perez show. Coming up, Perez stages his fake breakout. Oh, he broke the exit and walked. <gasps> and begins his secret mission. Karma's coming to get you, honey. And her name is Perez. Twelve seventeen p.m. It's been nine minutes since Big Brother set Perez his mission to become Big Brother's secret puppet master. His first task is to successfully convince Housemate that he has decided to leave the house. Well, he's got his suitcases. Perez, are you sure you want to go? Really? Oh, wow. Well, wait till she comes out. She'll be out in a minute. No, no, don't wait till she comes out. Do it with her in here. Just sit down for a minute. Perez. So upset. I've gone through all of this for no paycheck at all. Perez, would you prefer it if I went out while you packed? Yes. Katie? Would that be good? Katie? No, Patsy, I don't, need, I don't need telling what to do, thanks. I'm 40. Sorry? I don't need telling what to do, thanks. Um, would you like I'm me to I'm not telling you what to do. Just... Yes. yes? Yes. You sure you won't yes. let... Well, Cab's in the bathroom, so he could help you. If that's more diplomatic, Perez. I, I don't know why anybody's surprised. I know. It, 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 this needs to happen. Oh, dear. <clears throat> You're so smug. She's so smug. I offered to help pack. You're I'd right. knock a girl for trying. Oh, man, the days don't get easier, do they? Fucking hell. No. You know what I mean? I'm thinking to myself, final countdown, and there's just more drama. I know. I'm sorry you feel like this. I'm so confident enough in myself that me leaving doesn't mean fucking Katie Hopkins wins. No, it's not about her, what I'm leaving. It's about the fucking show. You can clarify that with her. Or no, 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 you don't even to clarify shit. She will, she, she will find out when she gets the fuck out of here. I can handle her. It's this fucking bullshit that I can't fucking deal with. Fuck that. I'm good. You see, I don't want to talk about it. I'm all good. I'm all good. Twelve forty-five p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living area. Go for it. It's nice, right, isn't it? Yeah. I was just thinking it's quite silent. It's We're nice. Never, there's never silence. That's mm. Perez is making his move. God, he's not happy, to is be it? Fair. It was just a tweet. You know, I think we have to. Everyone has to keep a sense of perspective. Oh, he broke the exit and walked. <gasps> Woo! He broke the exit and walked. Had it? He didn't. Yeah. yeah. Say that what? He broke, he broke the exit, the exit thing and walked. That what one? exit? The, the, exit fire the fire exit. Wow, that's such a heavy thing. That makes me feel all sorts of emotions. He broke the fire exit. Yeah. yeah. You see that door yeah. handle? Yeah. If there's an emergency or a fire, you break the fire exit and you walk. So that's a pretty, pretty big move. The, he'll, he'll flip his lid with them out there. Housemates are unaware that Perez has not really left and will instead become Big Brother's puppet master, living in a secret room from where he can watch the rest of the house. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. The Perez Show is back. I didn't see him as a walker. No. No. Not at this point. Yeah. God, your brain, your brain must be frazzled. He's so pissed off. No goodbyes, just fucking out. Out. Yeah. 
It must be such a severe thing in your brain yeah. to switch and just be well, like... Well, it's that the same thing that makes him go absolutely mental. No, yeah. it must be the same thing that also yeah. makes him just go... Something that triggers that. Do you reckon then, um, Gary, yeah, look, da 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 he's had a very difficult time having a day out and then he'll come back. That'd be quite unfair if they did. To give someone a break? Yeah. yeah. When you bust the exit, that's not a twist. That's a severity, you know? That goes against the rule. Yeah. That's, right. not, that's not like, that's why not don't you go and pretend to bust through the exit and then we'll put you in a side no. room and you can watch. That's, yeah, because then that's completely unfair. And also, he's been acting yeah. quite manic all morning. I think the tasky one would be more where Perez goes up to the diary room, we all go, where's Perez today? Yeah. And then we get a voice saying, Perez is this, is it? Yeah. And it would be and more just a task set up. We'd be all going, is that a task? Well, that's like a extreme. This is more extreme thing. Unless he's acting like a... Genius, which I don't think he is. No. <laughs> oh, God. Two forty PM. Cami Lee is talking to Big Brother about Perez's dramatic exit from the house. I feel that was a little bitch move how he exited the house because you came in here, I'm going to win, I'm going to be in the final, it's in my contract, I have the highest fee, I am the entertainment, I am this, I am that. At the end of the day, you're a little bitch that walked through the fucking uh, fire exit. And to me, that's funny, that just shows who you really are. You're showing all this stuff, I'm a manipulator, I'm a game player, this and that. But when it gets hard and there's pressure, you just fucking take the easy way out. And to me, I find it quite comical. How do you think the atmosphere is going to change now? I think there's still going to be tension in the house. Obviously, we're not always going to get along. I think it might be hard for um, Nadia to adjust as to what's going on because she was so used to being with him all the time. She was so used to, you know, defending him all the time that I think maybe today and tomorrow would be a little rough on her. But I think she will then realize how less stress she will she'll feel. She can now enjoy her time in the house and not always be preoccupied or worried about what's the next thing Press is going to do, how is she going to defend him this time. Uh, you alright? Yeah. I'm happy for him. Um, it'll be interesting to see which direction it all comes now, don't you think? God, I just don't know what's going to happen next. Well, because yesterday, really watching straight up face to face how Katie distracted from yeah, produced Perez so that she didn't have to answer my questions. It makes me think, who's she going to go for next? I think that she knows that you won't take any shit. You choose not to get involved, but you won't take any shit. I don't think it'll be you. I think it'll be you, though. Maybe it'll just be, you know. No. I've huh? seen the colour of her money. I've seen her. I've looked straight in her eyes. She hasn't got it. She hasn't got it to... To not? To give me, no. Very interesting. I'm surprised he didn't say the distance, I have to admit, because he said to, I mean, I think we all know, but he said to us that he's going to write a finalist and lipstick on his head. Do you see what I mean? It's he that. also said it was in his contract that he was in the final three. It's, it's he doesn't care about no, I didn't. No, I didn't. His argument with the tweet was that our tweets were all fine. From the public. Because they were personal. His tweet was loaded and therefore more hurtful than our tweets. Because they went directly from his relationship with Nadia. Oh, so you don't but, like but, when you go against the relationships, do you? <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm. Karma. Karma's coming to get you, honey. And her name is Perez. How many tweets he gets a day and he was that bothered by one? Four or seven p.m. Today, housemates are nominating in the diary room, unaware that Perez will be able to watch all of their nominations. I can't wait for the nominations to begin. They're all so tense. Callum is the first housemate to nominate. My first nomination is Nadia. The situation with her and Perez has been so ongoing that it's hard for me to see past that. I think there's still some tension in the house because of the relationship she had with Perez and that her 
way of backing Perez when she shouldn't with a situation with Cammy where Perez said that if she was if he was Cammy's boyfriend that he would break up with her. You are so pussy whipped by Cammy. I think it's unfair that Perez would bring in an outside situation or outside relationship and I didn't like the fact that kind of Nadia was happy to kind of back him in a way. My second nomination is Patsy. I don't think that Patsy deals with the tension and the negativity in a very good way. It seems to stress her out a lot. She takes herself away from any sort of minor conflict or confrontation, and she just seems to be taking herself out of the, uh, the situation at hand, and uh, kind of means that she's isolating herself. My first nomination is Patsy. Every day and nearly every morning, I get up and she tells me how awful it is. She didn't expect this. Uh, and it's just wearing a little bit thin on me, really. I mean, really, she should have watched the show before she came in. Um, and also, she should integrate with the house just a little bit more. Um, she just basically cuts cheese up all day and plays with her makeup. So, sorry, Patsy. <laughs> That's honest, Keith. Wow. My second nomination is Kavanagh. He does like a drink and he likes to drink a lot, but the other day he got us into a drunken stupor. He started to have a go at me and I don't think that's fair. Uh, and it's the first time ever, ever, that uh, anyone has told me to F off. That is not a good move and I don't like it and uh, there's no reason for it whatsoever. I agree and he knows what he's talking about. Don't blame the drink, blame yourself. My first nomination will be Patsy because whenever we play games, she diverts off, she doesn't want to get involved. Or whenever we say, Patsy, get involved, come on. She's like, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. And she just doesn't want to get involved. And being in this house, I think you should work as a team. I love how honest KP is. My second nomination is Cammy. Though I share a bed with her, and she's all cool, I'm a consistent person. What I am in the day is what I am at night and I feel that Cammy is really quite completely different in the day to what she is at night. <laughs> she dresses completely different sort of in the day and then the itsy bitsy bikini and the drinks come out and she's more confident and just a different person. But I'd like to see her to be more consistent through the day. This is good. Isn't this good, Mads? This is so good. Ah, you're gonna get your own bed. Ah! This is so good. Coming up, nominations continue. I feel like there's a level of commitment from everybody and I don't feel like she's mentally there anymore. War is over for me. We give peace a bloody chance. Frankly, I'm a bit tired of living with Yoko Ono dressed as a French onion seller. But Perez gets the final seer. I piss fun when I go to the bathroom. I am fun. You? No. You're out of here. Five twenty-three p.m. Earlier today, Perez staged a fake walkout as part of his secret mission to become Big Brother's puppet master. Housemates are nominating, unaware that Perez is watching. Oh, I know who Cammy Lee's gonna pick. It's time to put up your mommies for nomination, Chola. Get ready to pull that knife out and stab it in the back, Cammie Lee. My first nomination is Mama Kitty, Patsy. Peace and love, when we're in the middle of a fucking fight. It's like, I don't want to hear peace and love all the fucking time. Nobody wants to hear it all the time. It's not always peace and love, okay? It's really not, because I don't feel peaceful when I'm in a fight. I don't want if someone to say peace and love to me while I'm in a fight with someone. Come on. Backstabber. My second nomination is Nadia. As great as she is, she's a negative person when it comes to things that are essential and crucial in the house. You are now motherless. You have just stabbed both of your mothers in the back. Motherless Cammy. That'll make you even more of a mean girl. And waking up in the morning, first thing I do not want to hear is negativity. So, there you have it. My first nomination is Katie Hopkins. She is two-faced and therefore very untrustworthy. Yes. In Katie Hopkins' world, if you don't agree with her, then you are not with her, and it's as simple as that. Everything has to be black and white. <laughs> wow. 
My second nomination is my dear friend, Patsy Kensett, who every single morning wakes me up between five and six o'clock in the morning. I am literally exhausted. The thing is, if you're tired all day in here, as well as everything else, with all the irritations and with all the anxiety, being tired just is really destructive. It has a knock-on effect on the whole day not sleeping. My first nomination is Patsy. I love her. She's so sweet. But she is not in here at all. I'm not even saying she wants to go home. I'm just saying she's not in this at all. Blank slate. She's not right. I feel like there's a level of commitment from everybody, and I don't feel like she's mentally there anymore. My second nomination is Nadia. I feel like... She's got control issues. I feel like when I have an opinion, before I even finish the opinion, she'll jump in and shut it down or she'll jump in and cut me off, which is fine. We can all get our point across, but you don't have to interrupt. You don't have to always be in control and your point is not always right. It's frustrating. Five fifty-nine p.m. No, Nadia and Kitty are talking better. about doing the school run. What you could do is employ someone to take them on the train back and forth because it'd be fast on the train. It would be. No. It was a lot. It's a long. Because the driver that takes Harvey is funded by the government. Because he has yeah. a driver and like a nurse that sits in the car with him. Oh, oh that's good. What if you provided that privately? So you've got a driver and a someone. Do you know how fucking expensive that would be. Ridiculous. To have a driver a day to take me to London and back is up to a grand Four. a day. Mm. Mm. Because they count needs. the time, they leave their house to pick you up, the time taking them there, then going back, Reason. and then again, going there and back. It's a ridiculous amount. That would be a stupid amount a week. Yeah. Yeah. With it? the amount you earn, I'd find that tricky when you could afford it yourself. Yeah, but I, I just do it that way, statementing. It's like I pay my taxes, so if I can do <coughs> a statement, I will. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It, my job's not like. It's not a guaranteed money each year. It might changes all the time, so you can't always go on that. No, yeah, I, I agree mean. with you, but I've always so held so dear that if you can afford to pay for something, you should pay for it and you shouldn't rely on the government. I think that's wrong. Yeah, it's. Yeah, then so something could happen to me, so I, I actually disagree for once with you. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Patsy is next to nominate. Hello. She's so happy. <laughs> Patsy, could you give the name of your first nomination and your reasons for this nomination? My first nomination is Miss Katie Hopkins. I don't like living with her opinions. I mean, the list is endless of, um, of toe-curling comments and uh, I find it very difficult to be around the opinions. <laughs> Tell them, Patsy. This is the show, this is the game, and uh, we're never going to agree. So we agree to disagree. War is over for me. P give peace a bloody chance. Patsy, could you give the name of your second nomination and your reasons for this nomination? OK, my second nomination is Nadia. What? Nadia and Katie clash. I can't bear the rows, I can't bear the shouting. It's just, don't, it's just, we just don't have it like, we, I don't, don't live like that, I hate it. Can't bear it. But that means Nadia maybe go home. Are you saying, are you saying Nadia's the problem? Is that what you're saying? My first nomination is Patsy. She doesn't involve herself in anything in the house, really. She doesn't really have an opinion on anything. Um, and it would be nice to see Patsy speak her mind properly, and I don't think that she's done that. Boring. Next. Second nomination is Nadia. Wonderful woman, amazing cook, but I feel like she has made me feel guilty by not speaking to her as much as she thinks I should have. I think what she has to take into account is that she's been by Perez's side 24 hours a day. 
She's 37 years old, and although he's been good the last few days, if she really wanted to come and speak to me, then she should take the time out and give me fair time to get to know her, as she has with Perez. And that's given uncomfortable atmosphere now between me and her. That's what I feel, and it's uncomfortable to be around. My first nomination is Patsy. Patsy believes in peace and love. What do you believe in, bitch? Patsy seems to be incapable of living in the Big Brother house and finding the fun. She can find a lot of peace and love, but frankly, I'm a bit tired of living with Yoko Ono dressed as a French onion seller. So um, I'm done with Patsy. <sighs> My second nomination is Katie Price. Whoa. She doesn't side with anybody. She doesn't express a strong opinion. When there's conflict, such as Perez kicking off about something, she won't dive in to try and either calm the situation or inflate it or inflame it or stand by someone or defend someone. You can't always be a peacemaker in this house. I thought Pricey was going to be a colourful character, but sadly she's very magnolia, apart from a deep and exceptional tan. It's 27 p.m. Katie's talking to Nadia about how arguments start in the house. And well, I've seen how people push each other's buttons, so I'm, I'm just waiting for my turn. <laughs> for it to fucking happen to me. What here? What will get well, you I don't in? know if it will. Give me a shout well, that was close because really it was about my kids. No, that was about the kids, so it was a okay. little bit. I know, that's why I was like, oh my God. And it's so like, I don't have to explain to kids. anyone what education and so what I do with my kids. And it's like, I pay like, fucking oh, over the odd okay. taxes. Do you know what I mean? It was like, oh my God, no. What I probably would have said is, you're not a politician, so I'd have this conversation with a politician. Yeah. Big Brother has called Perez to the diary room. It's so weird because I feel like I'm a lot of Nadia and I try to be like Patsy. But when I see and hear Katie Hopkins say the most vile things, it's really hard for me to have empathy for her. And um, I think I'm going to need to have to reapproach how I handle her in the house. I'm done being done with her. I'm coming for you, Katie Hopkins. Watch out. I'm fucking good. Ooh. Thanks for the Prosecco. Perez, earlier today, you were told that you would become Big Brother's puppet master. The time has now come <gasps> to pull the housemate strings. What does that mean? In today's nominations, you saw Patsy, Nadia and Katie Hopkins receive the most nominations. They will all now face the public vote. OK. However, Cammie Lee, Katie Price and Kavanagh were also nominated and are tied on one vote each. Yes. Big Brother wants you to choose one of them to join Patsy, Nadia and Katie in facing eviction on Tuesday. The choice is yours. Oh, this is so hard. Not. Perez, what are you thinking? I choose Cammie Lee, duh. Cammie Lee despises me. She's said so to me repeatedly. Additionally, Cammie Lee continues to be a mean girl after I've left, and I don't think she's going to change. And as Katie Price herself has said, during the day, she's boring as fuck and she only gets a little excitement and vigor after she's had some drinks. Honey, Perez doesn't need alcohol to be fun. I piss fun when I go to the bathroom. I am fun. You? No. You're out of here. Bye bye Camille. Lee. Ciao, Chola. Nine twenty-nine p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. Oh, yeah. Housemates, it's time to reveal the results of today's nominations. The housemates who receive the most nominations and therefore face eviction on Tuesday are, in no particular order, Katie Hopkins. 
and Patsy. And Nadia. And, and Camille Lee. Hola. These four housemates will face the public vote. <laughs> the twist. Good luck, everyone. Okay, it is I what it is. Good luck, team. Cammy got nominated. Cammy? Oh. Listen, we all get nominated. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know you did it because you love me. Uh, yeah, thank you, guys. I know thank you did you. it because I'm fabulous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. I know you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm sure you ripped me to shreds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you Thanks to the asshole who nominated me. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Coming up, Nadia lets her hair down. It's the first time she's ever drank, and guess why? Because she does not have the babysit not tonight. Not babysitting. And Cami Lee's had enough. Tell me why you do not think I'm a good housemate. Don't tell me why you think I would stay in here. Bitch, please, I ain't got time for that. Beware, prepare yourself for very offensive language throughout and sexual references. Nine forty nine PM Nadia is missing Perez. I just want to know Perez is okay. And on a plane. Oh. Cammy Lee is sharing her suspicions with Michelle and Katie. Oh, this is like, I think I know who it is. But you're playing a dangerous game now, trying to guess. Oh, but I'm pretty sure, believe it or not. Well, you, it could be one you. of you guys. It's fine. If it is, I look stupid. But I'm just saying. We can't confirm. I know, I know I'm not asking you to. No, no, I'm not asking you to. But Don't you think I know. You I, I, yeah. And, um, but I'm pretty sure. And it's kind of sad. Nominated. Boom. Bye, Chola. It's fine, I guess. But it's just... It's not fine. Don't keep saying it's fine, because it's obviously not fine. Sleeping with the enemy is what it is. No. You gotta... Right, okay, try this one. Would you feel better if you could go out there and say, right, everybody... Obviously, we're not If I knew it. who it was, I'd feel 100% better. I, I could tell the person, the people that I said it about, I would tell them. This is why I said it. This That's is what I said. We on. should be able to say. I would love for you to say to my fucking face because you couldn't even look at my fucking eyes and tell me as to why you chose me. Right. Not because I'm gonna be safe. Not because the the guys are gonna love me. No. Tell me why you do not think I'm a good housemate. Don't tell me why you think I would stay in here, bitch. Please, I ain't got time for that. Okay, that's a good, also a good walk off. Just I just like that. That's why. Sorry. I mean, that is also good a good and technique. A walk -off. Yeah. That, I like that. I'm gonna try that. It's not going to be the same for you. Eleven twenty-four p.m. Cami Lee is still ranting about being nominated. If someone hasn't spoken a word to you since you've gotten nominated, that says I, something. But, but what I would say is, I haven't seen you since you got nominated, apart from when we were rushing for the You did go order. away, and certain people went other. But they, that person's been around, they haven't said a word to you, and you speak to them very frequently. Well, then why don't you trust your judgment? And, I am. And go and speak to the people, just no. normal. No, because you can't. You can't talk about nominations. Yeah, but let's... No, just no, get, just, just, oh. just hang and go, what's up? You okay? And see how that comes out. Because every time I get in the room, the area, they walk away. So we get punished. What's the bloody punishment? No, I'm in the area and the person walks away. So that just speaks volumes. That's what I'm saying. No, but think of it this way. Go there. Right, it's Girl a game bye. where maybe people are having to nominate people they don't know. They know the least. Um, oh, maybe. time and space and excuses are for astronauts, honey. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> time and space is for astronauts. astronauts. I'm nicking that one. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, what are you doing? We're hiding. Avoiding you, mate. Oh, thanks. We're hiding the noise. What's going on in there? Party, party. Everyone's well, just coming in my mouth. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Camini now thinks that she... Knows. knows the two she hasn't said people. who. No, yeah. not two. 
but she just thinks that she knows people that have nominated her. It doesn't matter. It doesn't she matter. I've not said anything. I've just said that's what's going. Yeah, that's what she's expressing. What it, what it yeah, and if she has about another eight bottles of wine, then she'll be fucking getting us all in trouble. Kanani, uh oh, she's pissed. Yeah. She is. She's properly pissed. Her husband's gonna be like, uh oh. <laughs> she keeps going on. My husband told me not to drink. <clears throat> it's the first time she's ever drank, and guess why? Because she does not have to babysit it's not tonight. Babysitting. She's brightened up. The idiot. Yeah, well, she has. And it might yeah. turn around for her now, that, like, if she doesn't mm. get booed or... We're finally going to get to see who, who she is because yeah. she has been defensive. I haven't been able to have a conversation with her, you know, and now I feel like now I can get to know her properly. Eleven fifty-seven p.m. Katie yes, has made Nadia. an observation. We have a new Nadia. <laughs> Fun Nadia, nice Nadia. Peace. Not that you weren't anyway. Peace Nadia. <laughs> no, it's like Let's you've be been honest. fun. She deserves a night of crazy. Yes. But mm. God, if you think this is crazy, mm. you're all going to be wishing for Ez to come back. You're going to be paying for his airplane ticket. <laughs> no, well, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy as is. No, I'm much worse. Doubtful. Mm. You're much worse? Yeah. Brilliant, darling. You have been brilliant today. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, Nadia. I'll see you soon. What? I remember this. Oh my god. Good night. Night. Remember, don't forget this moment. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Dick. Why are you going out? I don't know. Close it. Why am I over here? Do you want to shut the lights up? Oh shit. Bye. Hey, sleep well. Night, God bless. Thank you, big brother. Love you, Miss Evil, <laughs> already. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's the Perez and Nadia show. It's the Perez and Nadia show. Katie Hopkins may not think so. The Katie Hopkins can suck my cho-cho. <laughs> okay, bathroom time, bathroom time. I'm sorry that I've been annoyed, but I haven't been trying not to be. <laughs> you are funny, Nadia. This week, Tammy Lee, Katie Hopkins, Nadia and Patsy all face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Cammy Lee, add or four. For Katie Hopkins, add or seven. For Nadia, add 12. For Patsy, add 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50p. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in Tuesday's eviction show. If you're watching on catch up after that, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Join Emma at 11 for Bit on the Side, where she'll be joined by Towie's Danielle Armstrong, Matt Richardson, and evicted housemate Alicia Duval. <laughs> <laughs>